Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about the best free to play friendly uh, cavalry hero pair simply because Season of Stripe is coming closer and closer and I'm, I think that Season of Stripe will be all about Cavalry uh, Legion type because it's finally time for them to shine, right? In my opinion, there is one obvious choice in terms of uh, the best free-to-play Cavalry hero pair, which is, of course, Emrys and Bakshi. First of all, until we're gonna proceed in terms of skill sets, artifacts, talents, and so on, we need to say why they are firstly so good that it's free to play friendly for everybody in the game whenever i'm saying free to play friendly it means it's free to play friendly for whales and of course players who are not spending any money in the game at first we need to speak about the gold chest we can get both of the legendary heroes from the gold chest simply just playing the game uh, playing the game naturally, just trying to get as much gold keys as possible, you will be able to have this hero pair. It's quite unique because if you're gonna see at the gold chest, you will see that there is only uh, two cavalry heroes and two infantry heroes. Other than that, there is Nico, which is marksman, Thea, Welling, uh, and so on, right? Emrys and Bakshi is actually still popular uh, hero pair for cavalry players, especially if you like skill damage factor, rage accumulation, speed style of the cavalry gameplay. This is one of the main reasons why I think that Emrys and Bakshi is one of the most free to play friendly hero pairs in the game, not only for cavalry, cavalrys, but in general, right? Now it's time for us to dig inside of the hero pair and understand why they are so good. And they are with us from the season 0, season 1, uh, and they are still being used with many different uh, players. Doesn't really matter if you are tier 5 or tier 4, I'm pretty sure you are going to use Emrys and Bakshi at some point in the game. First of all, we need to understand how their skill set match to each other and why this hero pair is so good in terms of skill set and in terms of gameplay, right? Uh, the first skill is always most important skill for every single hero. It doesn't really matter if it's legend or your epic. And let's read about the first skill of the Emrys, right? 1500 skill damage factor is quite high. There is nothing special about this ability, it's strictly damage and it's a skill damage factor, of course damage type is physical, and I think 1.5 is quite a high number for any hero in the game, right? Second skill, which is quite interesting skill, uh, when, when Legion enters battle, which means every time when you are entering the battle, you gain passion, which increases your rage accumulation speed up to 40%. Which means you are going to use your main skill more faster whenever you have this ability, right? It's a quite good ability. You will be able to use any active skills on this hero pair much, much sooner rather than uh, normal hero pairs, right? The third skill is Cavalry Unit Physical Attack Bonus up to 30% and March Speed to 10%. In my opinion, besides skill damage factor for Cavalry hero pairs and heroes, March speed is one of the most important uh, attributes in the game. And the fourth skill, yet again, I love this skill. This is one of the best skill Emrys has, right? 10% damage dealt bonus and hero skill damage dealt bonus, 15%. 10% and 15%, both of the attributes is one of the main attributes for Emrys and the cavalry heroes in general, and I like this skill a lot. Everything says the same, like if you're gonna match towards like what this skill does to the Emrys main skill, you gain more rage, you're gonna deal more 1.5k damage, uh, you're gonna have 15% hero skill damage dealt bonus, which will apply to this skill, which is shattering blow. And of course, damage dealt bonus in general is pretty amazing attribute in, to have in any kind of hero, right? In terms of awakening, when hit with a normal attack, Emory's Legion has a 20% chance to gain passion, increasing rage accumulation speed by 20% for 5 seconds. If Emory's Legion already has passion, it is removed, granting 100 rage. This effect can be triggered once every 2 seconds. 
basically emery's and emery's is all about skill damage factor is all about dealing one 1500 damage skill damage factor to enemies and every single skill is usable on the battlefield which is really really important to understand right now let's move to the bakshi and let's compare how these two heroes are matching together right 1400 skill damage factor already good just 100 less than emery's which is totally fine hp bonus 20 percent is gives you tankiness which is really really necessary for cavalry hero pairs to have because generally cavalry hero pairs are pretty squishy they die pretty soon and these 20% HP bonus will be helpful a lot, right? The second skill is most useless skill for the PvP open field battlefield. It's a peacekeeping skill which is not that important for us right now. The third skill, again, more tankiness, cavalry unit HP 10% and physical attack bonus 20%. Physical attack bonus we already had on uh, Emery's, which was 30%. Here we have 20%. Nice. And what's the most important about Bakshi, in my opinion, for this hero pair to work is the force skill, which is when in battle, Legion randomly gains either Ascension, increasing attack and defense by 30%, or passion which we more likely want to have more right uh, which gonna give us rage accumulation speed up to 30 percent or spirit siphon which is gonna give us 200 uh, more healing factor which gonna give us more survivability at the end of the day right healing is also another way of being tanky in this game the awakening skill is really interesting because we are going to have more damage on the main skill on the first skill of the bakshi 1500 and also you are going to get not 20 percent of hp bonus but 30 percent hp bonus well the idea is pretty simple this hero pair is all about skill damage factor accumulating rage as much as and as soon as possible so you will be dealing your skill damage factor to enemies both of them have pretty similar uh, skill set like rage accumulation speed here we got rage accumulation speed 30 percent of course if we are not get, gonna get passion but i think any of these are pretty good i think less good is of course healing factor but priority is always rage accumulation speed bonus on the shaman's call in terms of skill damage factor both can have one like uh normal emery's have one 1500 bakshi has 1400 without awakening skill and of course pretty similar physical attack bonus for cavalry heroes and here again same style yeah like it's pretty simple to understand the style of this hero pair uh, do as much damage as possible by accumulating uh, rage and skill damage factor physical skill damage factor is your main uh, source of damage to the enemies in terms of talent trees uh, well uh, another reason why i think bakshi emerys and bakshi is so popular that you can mix around right at first you can simply put Emerys as a primary hero and your talent tree will look like this. Uh, the cavalry talent tree until the full with the perfect ferocity and uh, blood mark and of course mobility tree on the other half because as I said uh, movement speed and march speed for the cavalry heroes are one of the most important attributes in this game because you want to move faster because your gameplay is generally about ambushing and destroying enemies when they are not expecting it right so let's say you are running um, emery's uh, as a primary um, this is the uh, talent tree which i'm running uh, so far and which I, I actually advise you guys and as always when i'm talking about uh, talent trees every time when you're gonna upgrade your talents read what your talents is giving you because you are going to build around your gameplay by your talents if you will just copy and paste the talent tree of other people you won't gonna understand what kind of mechanics you are going to use with your talent trees because talent trees is one of the most important aspects for the heroes to work properly right in my case i run perfect ferocity because uh, as i said emery's has most skill damage factor is about skill and f perfect ferocity is increasing their hero skill damage dealt by 15 percent for 10 seconds already a match right regarding uh, blood mark physical damage factor everything about emery's is skill damage factor which is physical right why mobility tree as i have said it before one of the most important attributes for cavalrys to have is their march speed and mobility tree is giving us a lot of march speed with overall speed and with overall speed here again uh, and 
Second reason why, why I think Emrys and Bakshi is really good, because you can generally run Bakshi as a primary hero also, right? It's just depending what's your mood, what's your gameplay, and what's your strategy. If you are running Emrys as a primary, you're gonna go Cavalry Tree and Mobility, and if you are running Bakshi as a primary and Emrys as a secondary, I would advise you guys to go for Skill Talent Tree. As we have said it before in the skill, uh, Skills description, this hero pair is all about dealing damage by the skill, right? So, skill talent tree will amplify our damage with the skill damage physical factor. I, I would be going for spirit rage because I want to generate as much uh, additional rage as possible. So, we will be using our skills more and more because that's the main source of damage uh, with this hero pair. Of course, uh, the other talent tree for the secondary uh, talent tree, of course, cavalry uh, and generally Generally, like many people are playing Bakshi as a primary because they prefer to have a skill talent tree, but still there are a lot of people who are using, using Emery's as a primary and they are running cavalry with mobility, right? Depending on your choice, still here you have a couple of choices which you can make. That's the another way why I think this hero pair is one of the most free to play friendly because you can always make choices. There is not a strict direction where you should go. It depends on your gameplay, it depends on your mood, it depends how you want to play this game with this hero pair in general. That's enough about the talent trees uh, because we had to speak about both of them simply because uh, both of them can be run as a primary hero, so that's the main reason why, right? In terms of artifacts, there is a variety of choice of cavalry artifacts which you can run on this hero pair, and we can run uh, by one by one, describe one, e e every each of them, and let's uh, find out which has the beneficiary by the others and which are the weak one if we're gonna compare them from the others, right? At first, let's uh, speak about uh, the artifacts which we can get from the normal keys. That's, of course, the best one from the normal keys is, of course, Kingslayer, uh, which is a soul art artifact, cavalry unit attack, legion attack, perfect attrib attributes for cavalry heroes, and in general, artifacts are mainly... Uh, like rated with their skill, right? Now, deal the full damage up to five enemy legions and 1,800 uh, skill damage factor. Uh, legion belonging to other lords will will with the less than 10% units remaining will be immediately defeated. It's like a um, it will just take down 10% and less uh, legion units whenever you are hitting them, which is quite interesting, um, like skill, additional effect for this uh, artifact, right? I think Kingslayer is the best one from the normal keys, from the normal artifacts, for the free-to-play player's artifacts, and of course there is some substitute artifacts from this normal keys, which is a lesser version of the Kingslayer, it's simply Sorlan's Blade, right? Uh, only difference is that Solon Blades is having a Legion March Speed in the attributes and the skill is quite similar, deals diffuse damage of course to enemy legions, as I said, Solon's Blades is like a lesser version of the uh, Kingslayer, and it also grants um, March Speed 20% for 10 seconds, that's the uh, different um, effect rather than Kingslayer, but I would prefer Kingslayer much more rather than Solon's Blade. Another artifact which you can get from the normal keys is Storm's Arrow. Don't underestimate this artifact because you can use Storm Arrows in many different situations around the battlefield. Yeah. Most important thing about this artifact is the skill which is Blink. You can teleport your unit, uh, like the teleportation range is 15. You can actually teleport through the rivers, you can actually teleport through the, some hills, which is important if you want to kill some farmers, that's the best artifact so far. Or you want to just teleport inside the battlefield to just focus on one enemy legion, or you just want to get out and lose some uh, target on your legion, you will be able to use this artifact pretty well that's like one of the most insane artifacts in terms of gameplay because you can actually do a lot of stuff with the storm arrows and also in addition your legion gains rampage damage dealt uh, 12 percent for four seconds it's pretty good uh, additional bonus for this artifact it's more of a versatile mobility artifact which is used in a many different hero pairs not only in recent bakshi which is quite good in my opinion 
Now it's time for me to speak about the best artifact we can get on Emerys and Bakshi, and it's of course, of course, Spring Blades, right? Spring Blades is the main artifact for the Emerys and Bakshi. In general, Spring Blades are the weapons of the Emerys, and this artifact is generally the Merit Farmer artifact. You are dealing huge amount of damage, even if you hit the target and it's rolling, and even if it's going back, you are dealing absolutely amazing amount of damage with this artifact. If you have this artifact, click on click it on the Emrys and have fun because you are going to get a lot of merits uh, with this artifact. Of course, attributes are attacking, which is great, and Cyclone Blade is the one of the best. Uh, um, merit getter artifact skill which we have in the game throws a blade that deals diffuse damage to up to three legions in a de designated circle every second for five seconds uh, to your legion's pos position when returning the blade deals diffuse damage to up to three legions in this pass so you can imagine you you will be using this artifact during war against mage players you are going going to deal a huge amount of damage right and also additional effect when your legion gains passion they have they also gain kin right kin is attacking percentages 50 percent when you are playing with amris and bakshi i'm pretty sure you're gonna always have passion because that's in their play kit so this artifact is perfect for emrys and bakshi hero pair in my opinion other artifacts will be fine but i think spring blades will be the number one choice second choice would be kingslayer then will be solan's blade and the uh, versatile mobility artifact number one choice is of course storm arrows right that's the perfect artifact for emrys and bakshi in terms of mobility and in terms of uh, sneaking up your enemies right um, that's all about the artifact which was quite big because we have a lot of uh, artifacts for cavalry heroes now it's time for us to speak about war pets which war pets will be great on this hero pair of course there is one big and main option which is golden rock i think golden rock is the cavalry uh, war pet which is amazing for the cavalry heroes which uh, which main play kit is about rage accumulation simply because um, the skill exuberance it is all about rage accumulation speed which is giving you five percent more for five seconds but if you have already passion your warped deals damage to target legion which means both of the effects which this exuberance has has the meaning to emrys and bakshi right that's the why i think it's the most perfect choice for this hero pair which means you you either getting more rage accumulation speed or you if you get passion which you will do with emrys and bakshi you will be dealing damage uh, of course the like uh, how to build golden rock um, i think first attack is amazing for cavalry hero pairs simply because um, um, like a first attack is dealing damage where your deputy is using skill and i think emrys and bakshi both of them are going to use a lot of skill damage factors uh, whenever they are fighting so you can uh, like use this first attack uh, many many times during the fight the main attributes is pretty simple agility strength and uh, luck try to get legendary warped simply because you're gonna have way more beneficiaries whenever you have a legendary warped try to get lot, lot, a lot of uh, skill slots and of course uh, at first try to have at least one star on your main uh, talent skill and then start to build up your warped right i think this is the best choice in terms of warpets for this hero pair of course you can run shadow Frederick. i understand you can um well it's a magic uh, warped but it has a great synergies with the uh, cavalry heroes but i think shadow Frederick is more suited with um uh, Theodore hero pairs, that's why I think there is only one way going with cavalry, with Emrys and Bakshi especially, uh, because of the rage accumulation speed, because of the skill damage factors you are getting, it's all about Golden Rock. Of course, you're gonna ask a question about Berserker Fedrick, but I think Berserker Fedrick and Arrogance is more suited to Forondil, and it's like Arrogance and Forondil play, uh, Forondil's kit is quite similar to each other, that's why I think uh, Berserker Frederick is more uh, suitable with the Forondil hero pairs. Uh, that's why I'm not mentioning Berserker Frederick in our case. Simply because uh, Golden Rock is the best choice which I think you can have on this warpit. That's uh, all about it. I think 
I already answered the question why Emery and Bakshi is the best free to play friendly uh, cavalry and not even like in general hero pair simply because you have many options, right? You want to run Bakshi as a primary, run it. You want to Emery to primary, just try it. You want to have different type of art, art artifacts you will have many artifacts for your cavalry heroes because i think they have one of the most ones in terms of quantity right uh, you want to have um, warped um, which is perfect for your emerson and bakshi golden rock that's the easiest one you don't need to think twice because if you will just read the main talent skill you can understand it's for the emerson and bakshi right so i think for a free to play friendly uh, stuff in this game you have to have uh, many choices uh, in terms of gameplay, in terms of uh, artifacts, in terms of every single aspect of the game and I think you have a lot of choices with Emrys and Bakshi if you are a cavalry player or even if you are not you're gonna still have at least one hero pair which will be cavalry uh, of course around Emrys and Bakshi you will be getting a lot of tokens from the gold chest and you will be happy at the, at the end of the day because your Emrys and your Bakshi will have high skill levels uh, because you're gonna have their tokens freely just playing the game and having the fun in Call of Dragons. I hope you guys enjoyed about this video and understood more about this hero pair than before. If you did, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game. I hope everybody is going to have an amazing day, morning or night. We are going to see each other very, very soon. Bye-bye and good luck.